Hi there, this is Neil from Neil Harkins Photography and this is Danny Myers. Hi everyone. Uh, today we are going to be talking about OneClickPrint.com's new pro range metal and acrylic prints. Let's hit the credits. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so first of all, we have the uh, Chromalux Aluminium. This one's sublimation printed, which looks like that. I don't know if we can see that. They do this up to 600 by 400 mil, which is roughly A2 size. Your thoughts, Stubby? It's a nice little print. What One Click Print Pro has done is um, they use a special material called chromalux aluminium like Niels just said it's printed using a sublimation process so basically what happens is printer prints out a normal piece of paper paper goes on top of the substrate and it goes through a heat press uh, roughly a minute or so depending the size of the material but with summation process, it's nice, you get really nice blacks from it, but the colour reposition isn't always as punchy. Right. It's like, I mean, in this case, you can see, I just turn it around. <laughs> um, the blacks are really nice and dark, but the tones on the red paint on our model's face, um, uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know me, yeah. might be. Yeah. Um, if we compare it to the original, wait a second. Very unprofessional, should have had this ready. Uh, there we go. So the original, it looks like that. Obviously this is slightly backlit, but if we compare it to there and there, there's like a slight, it's like it's almost a pinkish, reddish overtone, isn't it? Yeah, the, the, the red sound has punches, it's supposed to be, um, and the skin tone, it, it's got more like a sepia to it. But, Overall, it is a nice quality print. Mm -hmm. As a professional photographer myself, yeah. would I buy one to put my artwork on for my clients? Me personally, I think I wouldn't on my pro grade stuff. No. Um, but I think as a consumer, it's the, perfect. They, they would love it, it. It'd be brilliant. Yeah, if I, if I bought that as a non photographer person, I'd be more than happy with that. Yeah, definitely. Uh, <laughs> no. Yeah, I completely agree with you now. Mm. Um, it is... The blacks are really nice on it. You do get the hanging kits on the back. So, when it's hanging up on the wall, it does look like it appears to be floating. Yeah. Which I think will look great. But, for the, you know, if you want to go for a large size, yes. yeah, I definitely recommend going dye bond. That's Because it's a lot more rigid material. And the colour reproduction on dye bomb is a lot a wider gamut. Yes, yep. Got it. So the colours are more punchier, more accurate. Right. I don't know, let's do a scale of uh, 1 to 5. What, what should we give this for a consumer level and for a pro level? Ah, mm. the sniff test! Ah, that's, that's an exclusive! <laughs> the sniff test! I would say on a pro level, it would, it'll have to be about a seven for me. Out of five. Brilliant. What? <laughs> Out of five? Are we going to do five or ten? No, I'm going ten here. No, we're going to go ten. Right, okay. I think, I think five's a bit too more restricted. Right, ten. We're going to go ten. Right, ten, ten it is. I, yeah. I would say seven out of ten. Yep. Purely because of the, of the blacks. The blacks are beautiful on oh, it. They, they are emotional, almost. But that's the difference. But yeah, I would definitely suggest you want something different as well, yeah, I that, think. That's but I would keep it small. Yeah, I think. definitely that's keep it the small. Overall thing. Yeah. But yeah, I give it 7 out of 10 purely because the blacks are nice, the colour reproduction isn't brilliant, the red sound has punchy as supposed to be. Bit, yeah. And there's a separate tone to it. But if you want colour accuracy, definitely go for the dye bond. And there we have it! So 7 out of 10, and please note that I'm available for modelling at any point. Right. Okay, so the next one we have is the acrylic print. Is that yep. right? Acrylic print. Acrylic print. Um, this 
is unbelievable. Okay, so this is the size of it, and this is the print, which is there. What is that about A2 size? About 82 size? Yeah, 20, like 24 by 16. Yeah. So nice, big, decent size. Right, rather fruity, nice, what, I think that's 5 mil, you say? Yeah, 5, five, five mil standard yeah, yeah. Uh, for acrylic print. Yes. Now, um, the print quality, compared to the original, is phenomenal. Every little bit of detail, it might be a bit difficult to see on this camera, I promise I will get a 4K at some point. Everything is there, and when you compare it to the original, it, it just looks bang on. As far as the quality, I would have no qualms as a professional. Uh, I'll be happy to give it to my photographer clients. I would as well. Um, I, <laughs> you can't really say anything. Do you, really, do, you, do you get the brackets with it on the back? Yes, you get all this and you get little nubbins. I love these, by the way. Uh, it's something simple, but it, it just makes it, it just brings it out the wall a little bit. Yeah, it makes it appear like it's floating. Yeah, so, I mean, yeah. <laughs> oh, what else can you say? What it's... I would like to say Ooh. regarding acrylics <laughs> yes. is the depth, what the acrylics, it really does make your photos pop. Yes. The depth of it, simply because it's behind the perspex. Gotcha. Yeah, brilliant. I think we need to do a comparison at some point, so I will get that involved with some other companies and We'll see how it fares with everybody else. No, uh, that'd be really interesting. I think it would be, wouldn't it? Because, I mean, for the price, this, when I first saw One Click Print, they were at the uh, photography show in Birmingham, and I completely ignored them because they were so cheap. It's as stupid yeah, as it you, sounds. Yeah, you would imagine, yeah. because they're so cheap, Yeah, it's, it's budget. You know, you're not going to get a brilliant quality, it's just going to be, you know, substandard, you know, like general Joe public. Yeah. And, you know, good. any professional like me and you, like you said at the, at the photography show, you've pretty much walked past Yeah, you just walked past them, yeah. Uh, but the guy, and I apologise now who you are, you were fantastic, thank you. He stood me aside and said, well, you tell me what the difference is of the, uh, I think we compared, um, it was a floating, uh, you know, a floating print. Yeah. And I compared them, and there was actually no difference apart from about 80 quid in the price. It's... Uh, Bloody yeah. cheap. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's cheap, and it's extremely high quality. It's... you can't go wrong. It's possibly one of the best bargains that I've, I've had the, uh, the pleasure of seeing, yeah. if I'm honest. If you're case you're wondering, and you've noticed, there is a bend here. That's because I'm silly and I stored it that way and that's completely my fault. It's got nothing to do with the quality from one click at all. It's 100% fine. Ratings, 1 to 10. I know what I'm going to give it. We'll do it in 3. Right? 1, 2, 3, 10. ten. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, we're happy. But we will find out when we do a comparison test. No, that'll be really interesting. That will be interesting, won't definitely, it? Definitely. Right, fantastic. Well, that's that for this episode. I'm hoping to do one next week, or do one on a weekly basis, so we'll see how we'll get on with there. Thank you very much, Danny. You're uh, just... Well, I've no, 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 fantastic. Talk. Fantastic, as always. <laughs> okay, thank you, and see you next time. Cue the boom, boom, ji